Hello there and welcome to TV Sarawak, bringing the eye on the news for Sunday. Sarawak today reported one new positive COVID-19 case detected in Kuching and one death involving a 63 years old woman from Samariang Baru, Kuching. Based on a statement by Sarawak Disaster Management Committee, the one new case was detected through contact tracing from the current active cluster, which is Sentosa Cluster. The case was a local man who is a health officer at Sentosa Hospital. Therefore, the addition of the one new case today has brought the total number of positive cases in the state to 650. The statement also read that the STMC will announce detailed strategies in the near future regarding the inter-district movement control, reduction of production volume as well as reduction of business operating time. Meanwhile, the government will re-implement the movement control order if the number of COVID-19 cases climbs to three digits. Senior Minister Dato Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakub said the measures have to be taken considering the rising number of COVID-19 cases. According to him, this worrisome situation was due to the, co to the public complacency since the easing of the standard operating procedures in the past months. Monitoring the body temperature of some 1,638 students from four schools in Sapao will be a breeze from tomorrow onward as the schools were provided with a thermal scanners to help monitor students' body temperatures in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. The hand, of a, the hand of a ceremony was presented by Deputy Chief Minister Dato Amar Douglas Ugambas to the respective school headmasters and principals, namely from SK Chenghua, consisted of 148 students, SK Nanga Gayao, 99 students, SK Spao, 398 students, and SMK Spao, 993 students. According to Uga, in a statement today, the scanners will ensure a safer environment for students and staff, adding that schools with smaller number of students will also be provided with additional thermometer guns. And as of for now, I'm Yumes Riani. Salam Sarawak Sayang.